Welcome to this training on Introduction to Filters and the Filter Builder in Customer Journey Analytics. Filters in Customer Journey Analytics let you identify subsets of visitors based on multi-channel characteristics and brand interactions. Filters are the same thing as segments in Adobe Analytics. Adobe renamed segments to filters because Adobe Experience Platform also has a feature called Segments. These segments in AEP help you create all types of audiences and are always based on a person's identity. You can apply filters to an entire data view as well as your report panels, your columns, and even rows inside those reports. In the interface of Customer Journey Analytics, we can see here that the Filter Builder is where we actually construct each filter. And again, if you are familiar with Adobe Analytics segments, this should be very familiar to you. Here on the left-hand side, we've got our date ranges, filters, our metrics, and our dimensions. And then here in the main panel, we've got the title, description, and down here to the definition. Now, filters are built on a simple hierarchy of nested containers. These containers are person, session, and event. And you can see here that I've nested different containers inside each other. We've got our person container on the outside with our session container in the middle, and then we've even nested an event container inside there. These nested containers function as filters inside filters that allow us to define person attributes and actions based on rules between and within the different containers. Each container lets us report on a person's history or interactions broken down by sessions or broken down by individual events. Now, just as a side note, these names have been changed from the Adobe Analytics segment containers. The person container was formerly known as the visitor container, the session container was called visit, and the event used to be hit. Let's jump back to the slides and talk about these three container types. A filter at the person level returns the event that meets the condition plus all other events and sessions by that person. And this is constrained only by the date range of the report. A person container filtered report will return multi-session analysis. Consequently, the person container is the most susceptible to change based on the definition of the date range in the report. The session container lets you identify event interactions, such as campaigns or conversions, for a specific session. The session container is the most commonly used container because it captures behaviors for the entire session once the rule is met. The event container defines which events we would like to include or exclude from a filter. It is the narrowest of the containers available to let us identify specific interactions where the condition is true. We can also pinpoint a specific value when an action occurs, such as the marketing channel when an order was placed. Back here in the interface, the filter manager allows us to do many different things. As we select one or more filters, we get different options up here on top. Anything from tagging or sharing, deleting, renaming, approving, and so on. So we've got a lot of flexibility. As we add additional filters, our options change depending on what we're choosing. And then we can always click on the add to create a new filter. Now, the filter manager shows us all the filters that we own, as well as those that have been shared with us. And an admin level user can see all filters in the entire organization.